In July, the U.S. government announced a deal with Pfizer and BioNTech, creators of a COVID-19 mRNA vaccine, to purchase 100 million doses of the vaccine. But that's only enough to vaccinate about 50 million people with two doses each, which amounts to only around 15% of America's population. The deal also included an option for the government to purchase an additional 500 million doses, but sources close to Health and Human Services have told Forbes that the government hasn't yet purchased them. We are confident that we will have 100 million doses of Pfizer's vaccine as agreed to in our contract, a spokesperson for Health and Human Services told Forbes, and beyond that, we have five other vaccine candidates, including 100 million doses on the way from Moderna. The original deal with Pfizer cost the U.S. government almost $2 billion. The government also has a $1.5 billion contract with Boston-based Moderna for 100 million doses of its vaccine. It also has contracts with Johnson & Johnson, Novavax, and AstraZeneca for more than 500 million vaccine doses, but apart from Moderna, none of those vaccines are likely to have emergency use authorizations from the FDA before the end of the year. A spokesperson from Pfizer declined to comment, saying only that the company expects to globally produce up to 50 million vaccine doses by the end of this year. HHS Secretary Alex Azar told the audience of the Forbes Healthcare Summit last week that the government could have 6 million doses of Pfizer's vaccine, enough for about 3 million people, by the middle of this month. The news that the U.S. has only acquired a small number of the Pfizer vaccine comes just days before the FDA plans to review the company's bid for an emergency use authorization. That authorization for the vaccine could come as soon as Friday, with frontline healthcare workers potentially getting the vaccine later this month. Fox News reported early Monday that President Trump plans to sign an executive order on Tuesday that prioritizes giving COVID-19 vaccines to American citizens before the government will help other nations, which may be an effort to quell worries about vaccine shortages. But because Pfizer privately funded the work on its COVID-19 vaccine without help from the U.S. government, there is no legal way that President Trump or the incoming administration could force Pfizer to give the U.S. additional doses before other countries. Esther Kroffa, the executive director of Faster Cures, a center of the Milken Institute, says that it's too early right now to be concerned about whether or not the U.S. can get the 500 million additional doses from Pfizer. They haven't even secured the 100 million doses, she says. That is what we really need to pay attention to. Can Pfizer deliver on the 100 million that they've been contracted for? Nations around the world have been quick to purchase additional doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. The UK, 